From AAA FX, this is Chris taking a look at the Euro. You can see that we did in fact rally just a bit during the early hours on Friday, the last day of trading in 2023, and then gave back gains. By doing so, it looks like the market more or less doesn't have anywhere to be, and quite frankly, this would not be a huge surprise because there'll be a serious lack of liquidity. Furthermore, I think you also have to keep in mind that the 1.10 level underneath is a viable target for those willing to get involved on some type of dip. I do think that probably happens given enough time. So a little bit of a dip underneath there and then a turnaround and rally opens up the possibility of a move to 1.11. If we break down below there and then perhaps the 1.0950 level, then things could be a little uglier. But the interest rate differential is going to continue to shift in favor of the euro, at least as long as the ECB is pretending like it won't have to cut rates in 2024. That being said, if we do rally from here, and on a break of the Thursday candlestick, it would be a very strong sign that we're going to continue. 112 and a half is an area where I would expect to see a lot of resistance. It's a 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level. And an area that, when you look at the longer-term charts, has been important multiple times in the past. It's worth noting that the weekly candlestick is a little bit of a shooting star. So I do think that we get a little bit of a follow-through on the pullback. But I don't necessarily think that we're going to fall apart, at least not anytime soon. A-A-A-F-X, triple A-F-X.